everybody, Cheryl here. This video I'm doing is going to be kind of a, I don't know, um, a very sweet girl, um, Tara McKinney. She sent me an email, we've been emailing a little bit back and forth over the last few months, and she she used to buy, or she does, she buys a lot of my mixes, and um, she asked me um, if I wouldn't mind critiquing some of her mixes, because I have encouraged her to make mixes. You know, everybody says, oh, I can't do it, I can't do it. How do you know unless you try? <laughs> um, you know, everybody who I've seen said, oh, I can't do it, they do it, and they do such a beautiful job. Um, you know, <sighs> A lot of you know, a lot of you don't know, I'm an artist as well as, um, you know, I like to paint. I do oil on canvas. Um, I like to do acrylic on canvas. And I, you know, I've always, you know, was, was an artist at heart um, growing up. And, you know, life happened. I had kids. I went to college. Um, you know, I raised my family. Then I got sick. And, um... I was working a lot, many hours in the hospital, so my art kind of got pushed to the side, but all my life I've been an artist, and I just love art, and that is why I believe this is called nail art, because it is art, and it's something that you have to love doing, so just the fact that you guys are watching these videos, just the fact that you guys are doing your nails, just the fact that you guys are buying these mixes means that you guys are artists, and you guys can all do it. It's, you know, just try, <laughs> you know, I've made hundreds and hundreds of mixes and I don't like all my mixes. They're not all going to come out perfect. And <laughs> I've been making them for four years now and I still make real bad ones. Um, it just, <laughs> you know, it's, it's something you got to work at, something you got to do. And, you know, the other thing I found is some of the stuff that I don't like, other people love so just do it try it make your mixes have fun with it and that's the important part is to just have fun with it and um i don't want to make this video too long because as you know i'm on HughesNet now and i have to do my uploads <laughs> in the early morning between 2 a.m and 8 a.m and i like to be working by six so <laughs> This is this has been interesting to say the least. So anyway, all of that to say, you know, you guys um, make your mixes. Um, I'm glad that I've encouraged you, Tara. Um, I'm just she sent me this this letter, and I'm just gonna read a little bit of it. Um, you know, she said I wanted to thank you for the beautiful glitters you have available. I've been so pleased with everything I have purchased from your store. Um, Making glitter mixes has brought so much joy to my children and I. Um, they love to help me. I even let them help me name my mixes. My four-year-old daughter helps me name Pretty Presents and Candy Christmas Tree. My daughter and son help me name Denim Blues in Bloom. I look forward to purchasing more of your glitters and spangles. And that's kind of where I'm going to go. Um, she goes on to say how she's hooked and blah, blah, blah. I mean, she's, a lot of this is personal. And I will get back to you on the other stuff you have in here. <laughs> so, but thank you so much, Tara. I'm glad that you sent these. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to do some quick swatches of these on camera here. Um, they're gorgeous mixes. I don't know why. You didn't think you could mix. Because everybody can mix. And these are beautiful. But this is, I just want to show you guys. Um, here's her YouTube, Tara McKinney. Um, and that's who I'm talking about. Um, and these are beautiful. She's got Candy Christmas Tree, um, Pretty Present, and Denim in Blue Bloom. So... What I'm going to do here is take these off. And like I said, this video is probably going to run longer. Um, I'll just have to deal with it, get it uploaded when I get it uploaded. Um, but I also want to point out what she did, which is, this is something that I also do. 
um, in her envelope that she sent me, you can see how she put tape over the packing tape over the envelope. This is so when they go to machine these, it's not going to tear it open and you're not going to have a glitter block. I can speak a glitter bomb in your mail lady's car. So <laughs> I don't, I mean, I don't usually do the entire package, but when I mail my mixes out and people only buy like one or two, um, I put it in an envelope like this and then I'll usually stick like this to a paper with instructions and then I'll put like the nail art either on top or next to it. And then I'll put tape over it. Just, you just, cause you never know it's paper. It could get torn. So that's a good tip for you guys to know um to do that just put you know clear packing tape over the back i've even used duct tape and they haven't complained yet as long as your envelope does not weigh over an ounce a regular postage stamps works um and if it does go over an ounce you just buy the little stamp don't stick two stamps on there just stick the add an ounce on there um so anyway i'm gonna stop talking because as you guys know i like to talk so <laughs> i'm gonna what i'm gonna do here is I'm gonna open these up. This is denim blues and bloom. I'm gonna just take a look at that. That is so pretty. This has got this, of course, as you can see, it looks like denim. Um, and I'm gonna, I have these little, and I buy these little Dixie cups here. I think you get like 50 of them for under three dollars at Walmart. And I'm gonna just dump it in there. Oh, that is so pretty. She's got gold, gold little butterflies. All sorts of pretty things in there. So let me do that. Um, the next one, ah, it's taped. Next one here is called Pretty Present. And I'm gonna dump that one in here too. This is very pretty. Let's focus that and then that's pretty. I like that. And I'll go through these better in a minute. Let me get these all in the containers first. And this one here she has called Candy Christmas Tree. And this one's really pretty too. It's like a purple and blue. I can't tell if I get it out of here. Let's see it in the bag. Just gorgeous. You need, guys, you need to continue making mixes with your kids. This is not only good for you, good for them. <laughs> this is very pretty stuff. So, alrighty, this one's called the Candy Christmas Tree, and i flip that over, you can see what's in there. Looks like she's got some bigger Mylar pieces in there, um, some stars, very pretty stuff. And this one's called Pretty Present, I love it, it's got a copper leaf, greens, golds, and my cat is making a lot of noise, so I'm sorry if you guys hear that. <laughs> so, it's oh, super pretty. This one's great for fall or Christmas. And this one's denim blues in bloom. And that is gorgeous. I love how you got gold and blue and the butterflies. Oh, it's so pretty in the different shapes. So what I'm going to do is, this is my... Um, quarter of a teaspoon. This is just some clear, clear acrylic. I'm just going to add just a couple, you know, scoops of this in each one of these. I pretty much just eyeball it because I kind of know the consistency that I like. Um, boy, the wind is really picking up here. It just shook the whole house. And then I have some practice nails here. And again, my lighting is kind of 
not the best right now. Um, but hopefully this will come out. We'll see. Um, if I was down in my office, it would be a little bit better. But my son has a friend over, and they're down there um, playing some Xbox. So I figured I'll just do my stuff up here and let them do their thing. And add just a little bit more. Boy, Sheena will be excited that I have some extra acrylics for her to play with. <laughs> Since I moved, I kind of cleaned out my stuff. and I don't have that much laying around. So, let's just do another little shake of this. And then I'm going to get busy with showing this how this works because this video is getting really stinking long. So let's set this up here. Um, the first one I'm going to do is uh, this one is Pretty Presents. I just want to get these in order here. So this is Pretty Present and I have a practice nail here. I have my monomer here and by the way um i have had a lot a lot of talk about my monomer guys um focus um i have this available in my store um i've had a lot of talk about it because people want to know does it stink is it you know is it really strong smelling no i can honestly say it's not um it's actually almost weird to say, but like a floral after smell to it. Um, I've had so many people who have bought this come back and just come back and buy two and three at a time because they just love the quality of it. It's MMA free, Tulane formaldehyde free. It's professional grade made here in the United States. Um, it is not a very strong smelling monomer at all. So um, I just wanted to point that out. I do have it available um, in in my store if you guys are interested in that. So, um, yeah, for those of you who don't like to like me, my husband make them leave the house because it smells. <laughs> this does not smell. So, all right, let's get some of this up and try these mixes out. Um. That is gorgeous. I'm just gonna kind of fill it in here. Not doing anything special, cause honestly, I just want to see what they look like. I don't know if you guys can see that. Isn't that stunning? So that is her mix, and I'll show these all together, that she called um, Pretty Present. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so there's Pretty Present, and I'm going to leave that upside down so it dries. And then we're going to do... The next one here called Candy Christmas Tree. Try to get in frame, Cheryl. Ooh, that is really pretty. Some in there. I love the teal in this one. Oh my goodness. You guys know teal is probably my favorite color in the whole entire world. Um, lately I've been digging green though. <laughs> but green and teal, you know, they go hand in hand. I can see little hearts in there. She's got some magenta, some teal. Um, 
This one's really pretty. I'm gonna grab one more. One more big ball here, just shove it in there. That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Tara, these are gorgeous. I don't know why you didn't think <laughs> you could make mixes, my gosh. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at this. And then look at the outside. It's still wet. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. That is beautiful. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then we'll take another look at it when it's dry. And then I got one last one here to do with your mix. And then, um, um, let's see, that was Pretty Present, Candy Christmas Tree. And this one is Denim. Denim and denim blues in bloom. All right. We are going to, I'm going to try to pick it up that way so we could show. There we go. This is gorgeous. I'm not in the frame. Are you kidding me? This is beautiful. Blues and golds. And I'm picking this up really wet. And the reason I'm picking it up wet like this is because I want it to kind of fall into the nail. So when I flip it over... It just, you know, it fills it up. But, you know, of course, when you're normally doing your nails, you don't want to pick it up this wet. Um, this is just for the purpose of looking to see what it looks like. So I'm going to lay this down. Just for a second, because I want to kind of clean off my brush and shut my monomer here. Um, get the get the glitter out of here. Um, I love this brush, but the only problem is, is when you're applying a lot of the finer glitters like that. You got to make sure you get it out of the bristles. So, alrighty. So there's. I love this brush. I had to say that. <laughs> so alrighty, brush is clean. Um. All right. The last one we just did was called Denim Blues in Bloom, and you can see it is a beautiful blue and gold there's that side of it and it looks like it's focused pretty nicely so there's that one i'm just going to show them so these are the swatches of the mixes that you made tara these are stunning Beautiful. I actually would wear that one in the spring. At first I said it's a Christmas or fall. No, I'd wear that one in the spring. <laughs> I love it. So there's your mixes, Tara. I love them. And I just realized how long this video is. I'm going to cut this video short i might try to put some pictures in here of these but they are just stunning thank you for giving me the opportunity um to test out your mixes thank you for thinking of me for doing that <laughs> they're gorgeous um so keep it up um i just love these I'm definitely going to use them. I'm sure Sheena's going to want to use these as well. They are beautiful. Um, so anyway, 
that is it. I'm going to push forward and I will see you guys in my next video. You guys have a blessed day. Love y'all. Bye.